Hey, this is Gene. I wasn't going to talk about this today, um, but then I go on social media and I have to see what I have to I have to relive what what I saw last night. Look, this season's been very crazy. As a fan, it's been up and down, a lot of uh, joys, a lot of downs. Um, but you can't really. This is what you want out of your fandom. You want to have excitement. You want to be down. You want to come back from the death, Beth, like we did against Brentford at home when Scott scored his two goals uh, against how we get we go through Liverpool at the end of that game. Uh, I was very, very upset last night. I, I pitched, picked up my, um, I don't know what they're called anymore, uh, this thing that I put my, my uh, feet on when I'm watching the game on my 85-inch c- c- uh, TV, and I threw it, my kids with me, and the last two games he's been out here at the end, and I, both games we we lost, uh, we drew with Brentford and then this and he saw both games and normally he comes out and good things happen but he's uh he's almost like being a um, a bad omen so I might tell him to stay in his room but anyway so I picked the thing up after a uh, ball deflected it off of Scott I put it down and almost broke it because this is the first time since 88 since I actually tried to kill something after we lost uh I think it was to the Russians in the Olympics uh, basketball. I was so young back then, <laughs> uh, but I was so upset with it. Um, but and it took me a while. To, I mean, being that I'm in the states, uh, I had a lot of more time to relax so I could go to sleep because it was at night. And if I was in England or something, I would never been able to sleep. I just it would just continually play off in my mind because uh, when we got to three two, I st- I still thought again again. I thought down at 2 nothing. I thought we played okay. And I, I thought we were going to come back and at least get something from the game. I thought we were – Chelsea is not that good. And we did. And we got at 3-2. And then we kind of like took the took it off a little bit. We, we dominated. We controlled the ball in whatever you want to call that in that type of game. But we still kind of controlled the ball. And, of course, before they scored, we had the ball and controlled it for the first time in the game for about five minutes. But – you know, we get the ball out there, 95 minutes, two more minutes to go, or three minutes to go, two and a half minutes to go, and we're trying to pass it over. I don't know what to get in or to go into the corner. I don't know. So I was going to let it go. I let it go. Uh, I'm not feeling that great today. Um, it happens when you get older. I just changed, turned 59. Um, you know, just some days you, you wake up and you feel great. You feel like you're in your 20s. You never really the twenties because it hurts every time you wake up. But your 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 me- mentality, uh, how your brain is working, all that stuff. Um, when it's nice outside, you go for a walk, things like that. Uh, but this morning, I'm just not. I don't know if it's the food or the stress or all the shit from the game shouldn't really inflect with me, but it does. And then just watching, you know, the aftermath of that. Watching the United Stand, United People's TV, seeing the uh, fan forum, and just everybody blaming for most of the most part blaming Ten Hag again. And while I have to say that there's some tactical issues that he's had this whole year, um, this is I mean, I'm just a fan, and I I love my club. No player is above the club, and I understand people are going to get against Rashford. Because there were several times in that game that he didn't really do anything, but he did. Late in the game, he went back and tracked back and got the ball out. And it looked like we were going to just hold on to the ball for the last couple of minutes and would have walked out there with a the win. Um, but I was so upset. I was so upset first when they gave the first penalty. Um, it was a clear dive. He goes down before t- Anthony even touches him. Now, people say Anthony's on the wrong side. It's his fault for being the wrong side. I don't give a shit. That guy knew he was coming. He started fi- he started dying before the, 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 the knee and knee um, thing happened. And I'm saying, okay, that's soft, whatever. Th- that happens. We would never got it this year. I don't know what it is. But, you know, and there is karma with this because in the 90s and 80s, we used to get a lot of penalties. They didn't have VAR back then. And we got a lot of uh, penalties that we should, probably shouldn't have got. Uh, I go back to Tottenham, that 5-2 game, 5-3 game, no, 5-2, the one that we played down there and then in Old Trafford during the season, 
Was it 3 nothing or were they up 2 nothing? Anyway, uh, it probably wouldn't have been a penalty. <laughs> it was, and then we scored four goals after that. Um, and I get it. Maybe that's karma, karma for all the shit that we've had for so long time. And having a coach that just dominates the referees, that's all fair. Um, but we, that was probably the best we played away all year. Uh, but again, the game was chaotic, um, like a basketball game. And we never really controlled the ball until the very end, which was really weird. We just, I think that Chelsea had almost given up, to be honest. And we allowed them to be back in the game. It's not like, it wasn't like the Brentford game that we came back and won at the end. It was just, you know, we just peppered them and then eventually it came to Scott, Scott to pull in and then they get the ball back. We get a free kick at the end and, you know, we, we got, we got. That game, especially at the end, after 90 minutes went back, we just hold on to the ball and they couldn't do anything with it. And then we get a little stupid, you know, we just, and there were a couple times when it was 3-2, you know, in 80 minute games that Bruno missed guys wide open that would have put the game away. I would think at 4-2 we'd have won the game. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we, we wouldn't have. Um, but I always felt, you know, like I said, at 2 nothing, I still thought we were going to come back and win or get something from the game. Then about 3-2, I, I felt totally different. I just think the way that we were playing, that I thought they were going to have a good chance to get a, a, a goal. And then we got past the 85-minute game. I said, okay, at least we're going to draw out of this. Even if they score, we're going to get a draw of it. But I knew that there would be at least eight or nine minutes or seven or eight minutes uh, of stoppage times. And then people like, they're getting on time on social media saying today that it could believe it was eight minutes. Well, Juan Masaka was down for almost five. And there was like six or seven uh, substitutions. Out of all the things that, that the referee got wrong, this one was right. It was either seven or eight. And I, I wasn't shocked when it was eight. You know, I'm like, when it got to five minutes, I'm like, okay, we only had three more minutes. We were holding on to the ball very well. Mason Mount came out and was just doing really well with that. He was stealing the ball. He was looked really good. Um, again, I don't think he should be on this. Uh, should be playing out there. He should be in the midfield. I think that, to be honest, and well, well, I'll talk about it a little bit later in in the video. But this this morning I come back and decide I'm going to go out, go to Best Buy. I don't know why they don't have anything anymore. I mean, I I, I collect physical media as you could probably see behind me. <laughs> And I got there like 4Ks back there. That's all my 4K collection right there. And then over there, if you can see that, that's all the Blu-rays and shit. You know, I I do shit like this, you know. And, of course, I'm a huge sports fan all my entire life. Manchester United, since I was 12, I guess. Now well, it's been 47 years. Um, St. Louis, since I was born. Uh, Washington, or, um, the Dolphins, since I was six um, St. Louis, did I say that? That's when I was born, yeah. Um, and Florida State, uh, when I moved to Florida when I was like seven. So I've been with them for like 50 years. Um, those are my main things. My, the, the, guy, the teams that I watch. And Manchester United, I watch all the time. I always make sure that I have, whatever it is, if I have to get that satellite or something, I make sure that I have the ability to watch uh, that team because I, that's me. And uh, when I lived in England, I used to go up a couple times a year to go watch them play. Um, so I am a fan. And I have been very critical of the players at certain times and certain uh, fan channels as well. Um, because they make their statements and sometimes I agree with them, sometimes I don't. And then you get people get on there and say that I just want to get clout of this. Yeah, okay, I've been on two, YouTube for 10 years and I don't have more than... 500 subscribers. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway, so I'm just going on Twitter. I just come home after doing all this stuff, and all I see is people sitting there saying that these were these were correct decisions. And I'm just saying at, both of those were dives. Anybody's ever played the game, and I there's a guy that says this all the time, Mark Gobridge. If you ever played the game, these players went down before they were even touched. The second one, not so much, but he was by, and we had four defenders right there, and there's a possibility, I, it's probably 1%, that he might um, kick that to the middle, and there might be a goal from that. But there, he, there's nothing going on there. Onana's going to stop that part where it goes to the goal. 
and then there's four of our defenders that are right there. Nothing's going to come from that unless he just hits it so hard it comes one of all our defenders, which happened a, a minute later. Um, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, Delo shouldn't have fell down, but there is no proof that he touched his foot. Even if he did, that, that wasn't enough because he still went another uh, um, set, step, and then Delo just puts his hand on him, and he goes down from that. That's a fucking, that's a fucking dive. It, everybody knows it's a dive. Uh, they're going to say that was a bad thing for Delo. He put himself in the wrong position. Bad defending, all that stuff. But those are both dives. Both of their penalties were dives. There's no question about it. And I would say the same thing was Manchester United. I'd say that's a fucking dive. They both dive. Now, at real time, I thought that Delo had actually really hit him. Because especially his, resp his uh, response to it. He put his head down. It reminded me back in 99 when uh, Neville brought down, um, was it Burkamp? No, it was, uh, he was a defender. What was his name? Good defender for Arsenal. Um, was it Dixon? Who the fuck? I can see his, he had curly hair. Oh, he's killing me. But he, you know, he got past him and he, he actually brought him down. That was a dear, was clear uh, penalty. No question about it. And Phil, ne Phil Neville knew that he fucked it up. And then Spock, Michael um, made the save against uh, Bur Burkamp. This was, I thought, okay, he nearly thought he did it. But I think he was upset because he did just, I don't think he trusted his other players. He felt he had to keep going after him. He should have just let him go and just our other defenders could have just deal with him. He was not going to, he was not going to go past Onana. It wasn't going to happen from the, uh, the side he was on. Um, so people will say this, well, he, he made a bad decision there, or he did something, I don't know what the word is, they always say the same thing, he was on the wrong side of it, or whatever. The thing is, it was a dive, and it was a dive in the first half. Um, Cucurella, Cucurella, whatever his name is, he's fallen down before he's even touched. It's like, okay, and they hadn't done anything other than their first goal, which I think Onana should have, sto should have stopped. They had nothing to do with it, and I, that's why I felt okay, even though it was two nothing. I was like, "We're playing pretty well actually right now," and I think that they can't really, they couldn't really deal with Garnacho once he started going. Um, and I feel bad for him, and people are like saying, "Oh, he's upset because he got tacked, taken off." I have no issue with any of the, the substitutions. We're playing Liverpool on, on Sunday. Uh, they bring Rashford, who can go in there and play that position. He doesn't press like Hoyland, but Hoyland was looking like he was getting tired. And he's had problems with, with injuries. He's a young player. Same thing with Garnacho. He's played 30 games in a row. Um, he done everything he's supposed to do. Mount Ma came in and did his job. He kept us them from scoring until the end, which was just it's just one of those things. I'm not it's it's not like Brentford, but it is kind of like Brentford. We apparently, if you're Manchester United, whenever we get something, we lose it. It's like a karma. Uh, we don't have it till oh, this. We'll have four or five games that we win games we shouldn't win. If we win games that we shouldn't win, we end up losing games that we could win. Uh, whereas Liverpool can play a game and he they don't play well at all, and at the end of the game they win. Now this is you know what they say, the form of champions, or this is how champions win, and maybe they'll win the championship. I don't think they're in the, personally. I don't think that they're better than Manchester City, and they're not better than Arsenal in my mind. Um, and of course, the media wants Klopp to win because it's last year. So I'm watching this, and people are saying these roll penalties, and you're crying and all that stuff, and I'm like, I'm not going to talk about this. I mean, anybody watch the game? If I could, I mean, I take off my the, my rose colored glasses and say I'm not a Manchester United fan anymore, and I just don't look at the universe, the uh, the jerseys that are there. They're both are okay. If you're going to have VAR, I have no problem if he makes those co those calls. The second one because where he's at in the pitch. I can understand why he calls it. it because he's being duped by the Chelsea player. Same in the first one. You understand why they do it, but we have VAR and you have people on the roof and they go back and forth and look at it. The first one, they didn't look at it for a long time, but it was clear. Yeah, there was touch, but it's after he's starting falling down. Once you see the guy start going down before the ball's actually, or the, the touch is happening, that's a fucking dive. He, he basically dives into his knee and goes down. It should have been a yellow card for him, and it goes the other way. The second one, he is not even touched. 
There is no, I've looked at all of them. There's nothing that actually shows that he touches him with the foot. And then when he comes up and he has his hands right there, and now all of a sudden he goes down from that, we've had four or five penalty claims that we guys were actually pulled down and not called. And I just, I just want some just consistency. That's all. You know, I think that he should have never called it there. And if the VAR could, could now come back and look at it, and then they could say there's more here, and then he can go look and see. But who knows what they do at that point. I think he was trying to be the man of the match because he was the entire game. I thought he was very poor as, as an official. Now, as far as the extra time, I think that he was right. I think it was either seven or eight minutes. When, when This always happens with them. When, when I know a player goes down for four or five minutes, I'm like, I said, this is going to come back and get us. And it does. I, I, why? I mean, I, I know that they, they put the shit on in the back of Wambasaka, but he should have set, set playing. I don't know. I mean, that was it took way too much time. I just, I don't, I understand that everybody has their, their, uh, the fandom. I get it. But the next day, we should go back and look at each one of these things and say, this, these are clearly not fouls. Because he wasn't calling it in the midfield. They, we had so many guys that were going past, going the backside of Bruno and get hit and going through Bruno to get to the ball, and it was never called. Never, ever, we had, they had two yellow hat cards, I guess, during the game that were clearly yellow cards, defended uh, offenses. Well, there were way too many times that guys were being hit from behind to get to the ball, and there was nothing, and the ball, the, the, the game went on. And they don't call anything, and then we call those two when they're in the penalty box. I just want to be consistent. That's it. That Neither of those, in my mind, if I was, I would look there, and if one of my players was through, I would not be yelling up, that's a penalty, that's a penalty. At maybe a full time, I'm, or a rural time, when it was going, I might say it. But when they actually come back and look at it, I would say, oh, no, that's not a fucking penalty. And they're not going to call that. And, and I would think that they wouldn't call it. But the, the, at the end of the game, I think that he's trying to grandstand there and say, look, I've got it for you. Now, what happened at the end with McTominay just not really reacting to that? If he just lets that go, it's right to Onana. And who knows what it might be the end, because I think it was only like 60, 30 seconds after that that he, he blew it up. So look, it's just one of those games that we didn't, we didn't deserve to, win, to lose. You know, it's, it's unfortunate. And Chelsea, they, they might end up being above us, but they suck. They have a lot of good players, but they fucking suck. Um, anyway, I, I, I'm going to stop. I just, like I said, I wasn't going to talk about this. I'm not feeling that great today, and it has nothing to do with the game. This just happens when you get older. Some days you wake up, feel really good, and it could be anything. It could just be what you ate the night before, or you've got way too much shit <laughs> in your bowels, and it doesn't make you feel good, or stress, or whatever. Um... But I just, I, and people are going to watch this, you know, the two people that might watch this say, Gene, you're just, it's because you love Manchester United and you just can't look at it. I know what I saw. I sit there and I watch each one over and over again. And Cucurella, he's fallen down before the, there's any contact at all. He's fallen down and then there's, they're doing the two things. Now, should Anthony not be there? Okay. That's what people like, that's just bad defending. What is he supposed to do there? Just let him go through. He ended, he passes. He goes back like that. The guy falls. I mean, come on. None of those things would allow you to fall down. And the P, the G, uh, the 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 referees came out this year and said if it if it's a it could be some there can be contact, but it has to be something that won't cause you for, if it falls if you're falling down and stuff like that. They talked about this. None of one of those things would cause that cause that. That's all. I, I, and he gave him to. And then, and then, and then everybody's going. This guy got a got a hat trick last night. Do he's like he's a great player and he should be covered. And I'm just watching this fan torment. Like, how could you not cover him? Okay, we fucked up there. He did nothing the entire game. I'm like, yeah, he had two fucking penalties and he hits the ball off of McTominay. What else did he do? The guy that did any that was doing was an actual threat was Gallagher. I I don't think he did really much of anything. Him and. Delo and, and Juan Masaka were having a nice little game against each other, but it wasn't like he just was roasting them at all. He had a couple things that he went past them. I'm like, after about the 20 minute game, 20 minute point, we dominated that game. We did. And at 33 2, we had three or four really good opportunities that 
Bruno just missed passes that would have, we'd have been in through right one on one with the goal goalkeeper, and who knows what we'd have done there? Would Garnacho got the third goal? I mean, I mean, I, I, as I look back at it now, I just we, we had the ball and Anthony was gone. Going this was like the forty the ninety fourth or twenty ninety fifth game minute, and he's got the ball and he's holding on to him, waiting on, waiting, waiting, and he doesn't go. He should go to the corner flag and have them come after him. And hopefully by then, somebody will come at me, Scott will come up and get the ball and just get it back and recycle it to the other side and hold on to the ball for another minute or so. They couldn't do anything until we gave him back the ball. And then all it was was he, DeLow was out there by himself. He should have probably brought him down outside the box. But I think he did. It looked, it looked clumsy, but they weren't. that was not a foul. <laughs> Whether it's clumsy doesn't mean shit. He never touched him. Okay, he touches him at the end with his hand. You want to talk about Hoyland? When, when Hoyland was, was brought down against uh, Arsenal, nothing given. It's like, I, I just wanted to be consistent. And th that's it. Anyway, I'm going to end right now. Um, oh, let me not. First of all, it looks like Ineos is coming out and somewhat backing Ted Hogg. This is all I want to happen. It's clear that he that he can't play the way that he wants to play with these players. And I guess at this point, we're going to play this type of, of game and hope that our players who can score balls or, good, or goals are going to win the game for us. But we don't have the type of players that he wants to play his system. The question is, does he actually know what his systems are or he can actually install it in the premiership? I think he needs another year. I think that he needs to clear out some more players. The question of who are those players are, uh, I don't want to hear anything like Southgate coming in or th that should not happen. Um, but I think he needs another year with the structure that's above him and then he can make decisions and promote younger players and have maybe next year we're not going to we're not going to qualify for the Champions League maybe. We might because we might we may not be playing anywhere in Europe next year. <laughs> so just depends what happens here at the end of the season. Um, but I think that we need to get younger and faster, quicker players to play his, play his type of, of system. It's clear that we don't have it as much as, as good as Comey is, Kobe is, he's not that fast, but he's a lot, a lot more faster than Casemiro. So he had to find a player that can come in and, uh, partner with him in the midfield. And I think that will be mount, mount in some ways. And the question has to say, are you going to start getting away? I think that Varane has to go. I love him as a player, but he gets injured too much. He's clearly the best defender we have. It's not even close. It, it, he is when he's fit. He's clearly the best that we have. Um, but he's just, he, he's not, you can't stay fit. I don't think he can, I don't think he can deal with this type of, uh, like the Premiership, he just can't. I, if he was in La Liga, he would not get hurt as much. He's just he doesn't have the ability to play at this level, uh, not level, but that type of pace, and it, it causes all these issues with him because he's he's stretching to get to these guys. Um, so he's got to go, and I think you get some money for him. He'll get money from Casemiro. He's just he's obviously lost a step, uh, and then it's the big decisions: uh, Cas, um, Rashford, Bruno. Uh, McTominay, I know that's a real big of a decision, but I think McTominay is probably going to stay because he does actually give some sort of things. Um, unless we get a really good deal for him or he wants to go play that he knows he's going to start somewhere. Um, but I don't think he will. I think he, he's fine if he stays on the bench. Um, and he played very, I mean, he played a lot uh, in a starting role for a long time under Ole. So I think he understands that. Um, but we're going to cash in on Rashford, cash in on, on um, Casemiro and Varane. Um, and then the question is really Bruno with me. Um, I thought he had a great half game there. He got the go whole goal. He was actually p picking the ball around him. But the second half, I, I don't know if he got – he just missed a lot of open open uh, shots – or not shots. And he, well, he also missed a couple shots. He, well, I don't know if he scores there, but – there's a time he had a, when we we're up three two that he could have scored when it was I think it was an eighty minute minute 
and we have we had a three on two or something, and we just didn't we did a late. Um. So I think, I, I mean, I, I think that he probably won't get rid of Bruno, but I think we'll have to look at offers for Rashford. I think we have to. Um, there's a lot of people talking about Rashford today, saying he was just running around, jogging around, but he did he did do that, but he also passed it out to Anthony and Anthony crossed it into uh, Ganacho for the third goal. Um, and then he also, in the 95th minute, he's running down the people. So he was doing something there. But I, people just don't really understand his what he's supposed to do when he's playing at the number nine position. He's just kind of like, <laughs> he's not like Hoyland. Hoyland will continually go back and forth. Um, so everybody thinks it's, it's his fault or Bruno's fault. I mean, the question is, I hear now on social media now that five players have been talking about Ten Hag and his rant. No, no, no player should be coming out today saying anything. I mean, I, I again, I, I, I don't even want to look back at that game. Um, there's no, there's no, no question that we shouldn't have lost the way that we did. But anyway, I'm again, I gotta stop. I mean, I, I'll talk. I can talk about this all day. Um, we'll see what happens. I hope that we'll 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 play a good game. I think we played okay. A lot of that game, I think we dominated. Uh, Liverpool will be a different type of game. They're a better team than Chelsea is. Although I think Chelsea can play well against teams like Liverpool and or City, and they proved that. Um, if we just go out and play well and we don't win or it's 2-2 or we, we um, you know, get a 2-1 win or something like that, but if we get steamrolled, then, then people are going to actually talk about get rid of them. Yes, it's been the worst we've ever been in the Premiership, especially with losses. And um, based on that, you know, if this was real Madrid, uh, he would have been gone. But I just, I don't think we're going to do that. And I don't think the re repl replacement will have to be Southgate. If we, we, we're not, why would we do that now? Let him go and get to the semifinal. If we, if we lose to Coventry and we lose to Liverpool, we don't finish in the top six. Yeah, he's got to go. Um, uh, we need him in the FA Cup final. We have to finish in the top six. And see how it goes from there. It just—it's very di disheartening. Even though we played at, like absolute shit against Brentford, we were ahead in that game with two minutes left in extra time. Same in this last game. That was been been five more points. We would only been one point behind uh, Tottenham. And if Tottenham, if we find out now that the top five get into the Champions League, we'd only been one point out of that right now. And. Uh, I would have still thought we would have had more points by the end of the season than Tottenham has. Um, but anyway, I'm going to let it go. You guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you gay after the Liverpool game. Or, I mean, this is WrestleMania weekend as well, which is, took my mind off of this, but we got Liverpool on Sunday. So anyway, I'll talk to you after all that. We'll talk to you later. Bye.